Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, just gonna clear up a few things, and I want to show some pickups here. Uh, just some random things here. Um, I got a haircut. Obviously, I have literally no bangs anymore, which is the first time I have not in years and years and years. So, yeah, takes a little bit to get used to not having that up there. It's just it's it's it was a lot. So of course you always saw me in my videos, I'd always have to get it out of the way and everything, and it was not fun, so, yep, uh, and you might notice things are a bit different right now. Well, and the Archie Bunker is back there, I mean, the little chair, which if you watch my vids for even just a few months now, you'll know exactly where I am and what I'm doing right now, but, um, for some of you, for the new timers, or for the, yeah, for the new timers, for the... For my new subscribers and stuff, yeah, the new timers, <laughs> um, you will have no clue what's going on right now. And this is impressive right here, what I'm doing. I'm sorry about this weird, the, like, the lighting changing and stuff, because I'm using what, I'm using a Microsoft Life Cam Cinema. Uh, it's in HD and everything, but I have this, they call it True Color, Clear Frame Technology turned on, which lets me mess with the brightness and stuff, like if I turn it down here. And it like it also will auto adjust, so it's kind of weird. It, like it changes colors on its own, or like it changes the brightness on its own, <laughs> rather. Um, but yeah, um, also just to clear up some things, this is also just kind of an update video. Uh, the first Deuce Brotherhood Return video is up on the Deuce for Life channel. I'll have that below in the video description. And I actually, because I have this new setup here, which I'll show, I got the the eye toy to work, um, which is really cool. So get to shoot with the classic eye toy, which it's just yeah, it's just a PlayStation Two. It's the it's the silver one made by um, God, it's made by a company called Namtai or something or Nat Nat Natmai. <laughs> I don't know what the company is called, but it's certainly. Certainly interesting to me. <clears throat> well, before I go freaking insane or something, I'll show the pickups now, um, and then I'll show the setup. Uh, this is a first pickup here, and this interfered with me <laughs> just recently because of where I have it, and it's in a bag because I don't want to. Because it is very old; it's falling apart at this point. But I found the 1891, 1891 revision of the US Army, the United States Army Infantry Drill Regulations book. Right there, as you can see it's very worn and guess what? The back cover comes off and so does the front one. And the front one is like split in half. It's it's worn, it's a really worn book. You can see there's that the eagle or whatever on front of it. The spine is still good. It was torn up in the corner up there. The bindings are still good. Luckily, so adopted October third, uh, eighteen ninety one. There, see that infantry drill regulations. It actually is kind of helpful to have this true color because it's like it's it's showing the text good and stuff. And show some of the images and some of the text right here. It's over 200 uh, <laughs> and they have like stuff like marching bands here yeah trumpet calls etc here's and all the notes and stuff which is really cool obviously I can't read the shit <laughs> so I don't know what it actually would account to but um yeah the platoon just all sorts of cool stuff, and this is like, again, it's from 1891, so that's before the Spanish-American War, even. Um, really crazy, and of course, uh, just marching formation and stuff, and, and look at that right there. There's some cool stuff in this book. Um, I wish that this thing would have like a timestamp or something so I could know how long I've been recording for. The rests. Salute with the hand. Um, 
lots of cool stuff. And then it says on here, um, it's not a citadel in here. Here. In 1779, Congress adopted Baron de Steuben's abridgment of the Prussian tactics. These were used by the, Uni the United States Army until the until the <laughs> commencement or whatever the word says. I don't have my glasses right now. Of the War of 1812 and by the militia until 1820. In 18... I don't... It's like I'm, the lines are over. In 18... 12, a very imperfect abridgment of the French tactics of 1791 by General Alexander Smith was published under the sanction, and it's all faded away, of the War Department. I'm just going to stop right there, because <laughs> I can't really read without my glasses. Um, so, pretty cool. I don't know how on earth this came into my, our possession exactly, we just had it, <laughs> but pretty cool. I can't find it online. So it's just it's really worn away. A lot of the pages were all torn. There were like stains and stuff. It's an old old book, you can really tell. But yeah, I've I, I haven't looked it up too too much, but I have yet to find it online. So, the damn thing won't go in the bag. Okay. Now I'll show. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. set this somewhere else on my TV. Um, and here's some Goodwill finds. The first one here is a, it's a, I don't know what year it is, but it's a Sears solid state cassette recorder. There, it's one of the older ones. It's not, it's not all black on the design, and here's the eject, there's record, play, Rewind, fast forward, pause, stop. Okay, put the pause in. Pause is just a spring. Then, of course, it has the handle. There. On the side, there's the AC plug, which I did get with it. It's just up there. Um, DC adapter. Luckily, there was no. There were no. Uh, or there was really none. Oh, damn. <laughs> there's no battery acid or anything like that. So, um, you know, there's like a for a microphone and everything, the volume adjuster right there, and the big speaker at the top. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure when it's from exactly. I'll give the model number for anyone who might be able to find it out. Uh, the model number is five six four two one six five zero one five zero. And AC one twenty volts, sixty hertz, of course, five watts. Uh, DC six volt for C batteries. Um, it's a pretty cool guy for six bucks. Uh, not bad for that, but yeah, pretty cool little. Now of course it's it's Sears, so Sears makes some cool stuff. Uh, and then this pickup, which is the one that I will most definitely be using here with my new workstation setup, which I showed in the last bit. Oh lord. This one might have actually just been easier to show, <laughs> like on the desk here, which I'm not going to do that because I don't want to take the camera down. Well, I actually I have to to show some of this stuff, so I'm going to show my other stuff first, then I'll get to the printer, and then I'll take it off, and then show the rest of it. Got some other cool stuff here. Um, I got a bootleg, or a strange version, like a... I don't know what's up with it. It's Half-Life 2. It's just the first disc of Half-Life 2. Look at that. Oh, I might, actually, I might just get my original. Uh, yeah, if I, I, if my eyes look like they're so tired, it's because I've been beat the shit. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, now I'm starting to get really tired. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But if you notice that, it's not a real disc. The label is different. 
the, it's like it's low quality and it has a different texture. I'm not sure if it's just a different release. I have yet to really mess with it, but it's not the same. The colors are off and the text kind of blurs into itself and it's kind of faded and stuff like it's worn over time. It's like a cheap ass version or like a, I'm thinking it's like a counterfeit or a bootleg or something, but that's very strange. Then I found um got all sorts of shit over here. Ugh, I found uh, Call of Duty Black Ops for the for the Xbox 360 right there. So yeah. Um I don't really play Call of Duty at all anymore. Um I pretty much quit that franchise. Of course I still love Call of Duty for War and stuff, but um uh I like the zombies mode in this. It's fun that the zombies mode, of course, it's just like a the zombies just like come in waves and stuff and you get to like buy weapons and you get points. Of course you get points and you buy the weapons and you can like open doors and of course it's just I'm sure you guys have probably heard of Call of Duty Zombies before, but um pretty cool, of course, like I said, I'm not really into Call of Duty anymore, but um uh, the zombies mode this is fun. I've yet to do any multiplayer with it again, so pretty cool. And I'll kind of segue into something else. I also would like to just show this here for anyone that has any info on it, because I got this totally for free from a, a very generous friend of mine. Um, but it's a JVC. Oh, to my freaking computer wants to do that. Yeah, he wants to try to go in sleep mode. <laughs> um, it's JVC HD. I'll give you the model number. It is a JC, a JC, a GC, FM1BU. Doesn't take batteries. It just you. It's on a charger, and it's in high def apparently, which I don't know how good it is. I haven't shot with this thing in a long time. I only made like a few vids with it, so I don't remember how good the quality is or how bad it is. Rather, SD card slot has a tripod slot. It seems like a. It seems like it might be a decent cam, but who knows? I will mess with it in another vid, so I might. I will have another vid out tonight, showing off this thing or filming with this thing, just kind of testing. Uh, one cool thing about this is the way it's designed, the case for it, I'm not sure if it's the original, you can charge it while keeping it in the case. Then I, I'm not sure if I showed this in my last pickup vid, but it's just a, it's a Sentec or whatever, multimeter. So, I, I'll open it because it, it's not in the, it's not like brand new. This has been opened before. Um, there's a little warning book. Whatever. And this is literally all that's in here. And here's the multimeter. Of course, this stuff is not. Right, well, test for. Oh, it's still good. But you can test for it right there. Like that. And of course, oh, no, turn it off. I don't know which cable is which. It doesn't come with the. Let me look on the box. It doesn't even show it right there. Well, that's good. This is for testing 10 DC or whatever. Like if I were to put like I don't know. Just uh, let me mess with it here. Just for a kick. I'm testing a DC. Input, I think, here, so, I'm trying to not getting any of the Yep. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure exactly what I have to do here, but, um, <laughs> I will probably mess with that later, but this would be good for, like, testing power supplies on computers and stuff, because, of course, that's a good way to tell if you're getting the correct voltage. It's just, I don't know how to use it, <laughs> so... But it's, it's like, of course, it's like brand new. Very good shape because it was barely taken out, it seems. Uh, it was obviously open, though. So I'm just not sure if it matters whether it's black or white or what. But <laughs> I'll have to figure it out at some point here. But, but yeah. Let's get that. Shove this in here like it doesn't matter. Now you can see my printer 
just in the very bottom of the screen on this. Because the printer's the printer's not staying there, it goes over with the workstation. I'll show the setup and you'll see how things are here. I'll do it I'll even show it a bit more in depth, just the whole room in that vid rod test the cam. into the box or anything like that, but it's fucking hard not to. This is... Take this. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm tearing into the shit. I'll deal with it later, man. That's just... Oh, my window is open. Well, anyway. Um... I left the damn book out. And even still, it's fucking warped like that. <laughs> so I'm gonna mess with that later. Yeah, and just set it up here. Yeah, I'm telling you. <sighs> it just sits on here now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna move this stuff back here. Uh, just put it where it should be. Oh, that thing's snapped back in place. Well, except for the. multimeter things and be pain in the ass but <laughs> alright. Anyway. Fuck these out here. Okay. Now since I know this vid's been really long already, I'll show the printer now and I'll show the setup and you can see right here. Oh huh? here's the printer. It is an HP desk jet F three three five from the manufacture date on this is August 2006. It's their old HP logo right there. Here's the scanner. Nice big scanner. Good size. And just a good stink scanner in general. Very nice. Physical buttons, which I like very much. Uh, there's scans. Whatever. Uh, buttons are there. There's a tray. This had me confused at first. For doing photos and stuff, you pull this out. Because we're in the foot, you can come up here, uh, and then you just put paper. You put uh, like a disc into this, but um, like the tray, and then it just sits in there. It moves, like I think it just comes around, and then the the bay for replacing your ink has nothing yeah, right now. But uh, pretty cool little printer. I'm gonna use that with my other workstation. But it's in good shape. Shape. Let me move this out of the way here. Just set this aside. Move this back to where we everything to. Here is the computer, which I'll get into in a bit. Uh, here's my knife, like here's my or my knife collection. Here's my little cab that I made, and then here's the, the badass freaking katana that has a shitty sheath in it. And you can see right there is my clock radio, which I actually found out that is from the 80s. It's not from the 70s. It's from the 80s. I doubted it was from the 70s. I just made that up whenever I was in the retro shit for some reason. But um, here, you can see right there, some games stacked on top of my 360 Elite. And I got my old hoodie, the, the, like, the one from back in the day. It's, like, blue, and then I got my beanies and stuff sitting up on top of that. There's a shelf up there with some good globe and just some other, like, my, uh, PS2 system, my multiples. Here's the computer, there's my Amazon Basics computer speakers. <laughs> my Dell keyboard I got in October. I just oh this is a find a good well I found this gateway mouse here. It's a nice mouse. And my HP 20 inch monitor. Uh, and this is my computer running Windows 7 here. It's the life cam software. Um, got setting up because actually what it is is I 
Del Latitude D620. Also, you notice I took the doors off the closet. <laughs> then I got some Lego stuff in there. I yet, yet to move the toy just sits there. That's my old printer. And then on top of the course of the computer. Of course, I had to drill a hole to work through and stuff. But, uh, so, so, all my stuff, like, like the programs, like, So, 